So go ahead. Make my afterlife. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 satisfying deaths in DC animated movies and TV shows. I believe this is mine. For this list, we'll be looking at the most memorable and significant demises seen in the comic companies, animated programs, and features. We'll mainly be looking at villain deaths that were confirmed, so Darkseid's ambiguous fate in Apocalypse War won't be counted here. Beware of major spoilers ahead. Which animated DC death still sticks with you today? Let us know in the comments down below. Number 10, Riddler Falls. Batman Hush. Tonight, I'll show them all by doing what none of them could, killing the Batman. During the course of a movie, the question theme villain made Superman hunt Batman, slay the Dark Knight's childhood friend, and tried to drop Bruce's girlfriend Selina into a fatal trap. So we completely understand why the hero didn't hesitate to pummel the Riddler. Their battle ended when the Riddler nearly fell into a vat. Despite everything the villain did, Batman tried to save his enemy, but Catwoman stepped in to make the Riddler fall. Wait! You're Batman! You can't let me die! Screw this! Although Batman wasn't happy with the fatal outcome, Selina and the audience felt relieved that the villain's rampage was over. In an ironic twist, he died by the same method he was willing to use to eliminate Catwoman. He killed your friend tried to murder Nightwing, how he almost killed me and you're sorry he's dead? I had to try. Number nine, the queen of fables loses her head, Harley Quinn. Queen, oh, you really saved the day. I guess not killing you worked out pretty well. Not really, quick question, can any of you fly? After Harley helped the royal villain break out of imprisonment, the two had a major falling out. When the Queen of Fables returned, she teamed up with the Joker and tried to kill the anti-heroine with fairy tale constructs. Got time for one last bedtime story? Why would you work for Joker? Harley only turned things around after she was nearly killed by the big bad wolf. With the help of King Shark, she hid inside of the creature and snuck right up to the royal villain. While we can't show you what Harley does to the Queen of Fables here, we can definitely say the anti-heroine came out ahead. My God, I did not know her head would pop off. Quinn's quick and brutal revenge was the perfect ending to her twisted rival's fairy tale. Number eight, Owlman gets obliterated. Justice League Crisis on Two Earths. Man is a cancer, and I've chosen to cut out the disease. You were talking about killing everyone who ever lived. When a nihilistic villain named Owlman tried to destroy the entire multiverse with a dangerous device, the Dark Knight raced to stop him. Since neither of them had superpowers, they had to rely on their smarts, fists, and gadgets. The two seemed evenly matched, but in the end, Batman secured the win with one of his weapons and an awesome one-liner. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Unable to defuse the device, the Dark Knight sent Owlman and his dangerous machine to a dead world. Even the villain couldn't help but smile when he realized he had been bested and was going to expire. Owlman's death ensured that the multiverse lived to see many more days. Did we save the world then? We did. Number seven, Victor Freeze makes a fatal save. Batman Beyond. I've been like this for nearly 50 years, and I haven't aged one day. I have become what many men have dreamed of, an immortal. Victor Freeze was stuck living as a head in a jar for decades before he got the chance to reside in a new body. Although he wanted to make up for his former misdeeds, he embraced his bad instincts after villains tried to kill him. The reborn Mr. Freeze tried to take revenge on the man who ordered his assassination by destroying a building. There's enough energy here to destroy the whole compound, Batman. I suggest you find a way out. Freeze, think. This can't be what you want. However, he forgot his vengeance when a battle in the structure wrecked the ceiling and endangered the new Batman's life. Mr. Freeze used what was left of his powers to make the futuristic Dark Knight to get to safety. 
While the frosty villain alternated between being good and evil, his last act allowed him to die as a hero. Guess you were right about Freeze all along? We both were. Number six, Bedlam Bites the Dust, Young Justice. Hello, uncle. So, a meta invasion of my native land. An opportunity to defend the realm and cleanse the bloodline of these weak orphans. If there was a worst uncle of the year award, this supervillain would win for a solid decade straight. Baron Bedlam imprisoned his royal nephew and niece, ensured the death of their parents, and tried to steal his country's throne. The villain also ran an organization where people returned to metahumans and sold as warriors to other planets. After committing all these crimes, his nephew gained powers and made his uncle pay the ultimate price. It will never be over, Princeling. Not as long as I draw breath. Uncle, I believe you. Brion used his fiery elemental abilities to ensure that Baron's death was extremely painful. Both the prince and the country were quick to celebrate when they realized the twisted villain was gone for good. I had to do it. Don't you see? You cross the line, we don't cross. Number five, Joe Chill faces justice. Batman the Brave and the Bold. You are the slinking coward who murdered Thomas and Martha Wayne. That was a lifetime ago. The Dark Knight wouldn't exist if the gunman known as Joe Chill hadn't slain Thomas and Martha Wayne. Decades after their tragic death, Batman got a chance to face the killer. After easily beating Chill to a pulp, Bruce had a chance to end the villain's life, but Batman decided to spare the gunman. Although the hero showed mercy, Chill got fatally wounded after one of his guns caused the ceiling to fall atop of him. Funny. <sighs> He goes, I started you off as Batman. Those other mugs made me pay. Seeing this Batman villain face justice without the Dark Knight having to cross the line was incredibly cathartic. While it's implied that the supernatural specter may have set up this death, Chill's end still felt like a full circle moment. Funny how Chill just happened to be under that crumbling ceiling when it came down. I wouldn't know anything about that. Number four, the end of Doomsday, the death of Superman. Wait, take him down, Clark. Don't hold back. As soon as Doomsday was unleashed on Earth, he went on a violent rampage that left many civilians and heroes severely wounded or worse. The only one that could have stopped the brutal beast was Superman. But despite the Man of Steel's best efforts, Doomsday kept finding ways to evolve and become more deadly. At multiple points of the battle, it looked like the creature would come out on top. At this point, it's impossible to tell who's the victor. Though Superman has come from behind before. But Superman was able to find just enough strength to slay Doomsday at the last moment. We breathed a sigh of relief when Clark finally silenced the roaring beast but the scene was just as sweet as it was bitter because the battle seemingly cost Superman his life. Is he? Yes, you did it. You saved everyone. Good, it's all I ever wanted. Number three, Slade is slain, Team Titan. I will not tolerate failure, Apprentice. I will not permit you to run away. You will stay, you will fight, and you will win. It seemed like Slade had gone too far when he manipulated his young apprentice Terra into befriending and betraying the Teen Titans. However, the villain sunk to lower depths when he physically and mentally tormented her into obeying his every whim. You promise to fight at my side forever, and that's a promise. I intend to make you keep. And if all that wasn't bad enough, Slade threatened to eliminate Terra if she didn't assassinate her old friends. The young metahuman eventually decided she had enough and lashed out at Slade with her full might. You can't control me anymore. Although it's unclear what happened to him at first, the image of his mask sinking into lava confirmed he perished. Slade was appropriately undone by the apprentice he had so viciously mistreated. 
Number two, Reverse Flash runs out of time. Suicide Squad, hell to pay. In an alternate war-torn timeline, Reverse Flash, aka Zoom, was killed by a single gunshot after he tried to prevent the heroes from saving the world. You can't escape this timeline. I'm afraid there just isn't enough speed force to go around. <laughs> or so we thought. Reverse Flash later revealed that he'd found a way to delay his death. Upon realizing there was no way to save his life, he did whatever he could to nab a mystical get out of hell free card. Zoom sadistically tormented and even killed multiple people to achieve his goal. I'm good for one last hit of speed. Any bullet you shoot, I'll make sure it's lethal. So go ahead, make my afterlife. But right as he was about to win, two villains teamed up to make sure he didn't run away with the card. Zoom's demise was doubly gratifying because we saw him die in both the new and alternate timelines. He couldn't run away from his crimes forever. He just crossed the finish line. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Day the Clown Died Batman Beyond Return of the Joker Here you go, sonny boy! Make daddy proud. Deliver the punchline. Eight years after we first saw the clown wreak havoc in Gotham, we watched in horror as he used painful methods to turn Tim Drake's Robin into a mini Joker. The brainwashed sidekick was then commanded to shoot Batman. But instead of slaying the Dark Knight, Tim took the Joker out. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> That's not funny. The clown's karmic death was so satisfying because it marked the end for a villain who had escaped justice for nearly a decade. And just in case fans weren't satisfied, Joker fell again after he basically resurrected himself by using a microchip in Tim's adult body. This time around, the new Batman erased the last traces of the villain by using one of the clown's signature weapon. I can Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.